Hey everyone, if you are super new to walling, or if you have been using walling for a while, I'm going to show you 8 tips and tricks to improve your walling experience and increase your productivity. Let's start with tip number 1. How to quickly create new bricks. There are different easy ways to create a new brick in walling. You can double click anywhere in a section, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Command B if you are on Mac or Ctrl B if you are on Windows. If you want to add your new brick at the top, you can simply hold the shift key to achieve that. Tip number two, how to create a divider line. Dividers are a great way to visually organize your brick content. To create a divider, simply type three dashes. You can also use asterisks to create a new asterisk break. Tip number three, how to get a color palette from your uploaded images. This is a hidden feature available only for premium users. When you upload an image to Walling, it generates a color palette from your image. It takes few seconds to process it, and then you will find the generated colors when you click on the palette icon here. You can also click on any color to copy its hex code. Tip number four, how to copy your bricks content. Simply drag and select your bricks and copy them, so you can paste their content in the other applications while retaining their format. Tip number five, how to add a node to a checklist item. This one may seem like a small feature, but it can be quite helpful. You can press enter while holding the shift key to add a node to any checklist item. Tip number six, how to create your own wall templates. Walling doesn't let you save your own templates yet, but there is an easy workaround to achieve that. Simply create a new collection and name it templates. When you want to save a wall as a template, Duplicate the wall and move it to the new templates collection. Now whenever I want to use that template, I will simply create a new copy of it. And if I made changes to the new copy, it will not affect the original template. Tip number 7. How to leave notes for yourself inside a wall. Each wall has a real-time discussion panel. It's mainly for collaboration between team members, but you can also use it to leave notes for yourself and you can add links too. Tip number eight, how to add a color strip to your wall. Adding a color strip at the top can be a nice way to style your wall while keeping its minimal design. To add a color strip, set the wall cover to wide and drag it from the bottom to resize its height. Then simply select a color for your cover. Hopefully you found some of these tips helpful and I look forward to sharing more tips and tricks with you soon.